Welcome back everybody. Today's video is airbrush painting fishing lures and I'm going to be painting a crankbait in a shad color. So we have in front of us a 2.5 crankbait. It's pressed out of a Lucky Craft. And like I said, we're gonna be putting a shad color on that. The Potomac or the, the waters near me shad is a good bait all year round. And so I find myself painting a lot of different shad patterns. This one's gonna be a slight variation from ones I've done in the past, but I have a feeling it's gonna come out pretty good. So, so we have a white base on the lure already, and we're gonna start off shooting some Createx paralyzed white on top of it. Okay, so we have the pearl white on the sides now. You can see it's nice and shiny. Um, we're gonna now wrap it in a shower loofah to get some scaling effect. Uh, this this pattern's gonna be pretty simple. I like painting crankbaits in simple patterns a lot uh, for personal use. You know, I try to get creative on here sometimes, but you know, if I'm if I'm sitting down to paint myself a lore, which which this is, a lot of times I'll just try to get as realistic as possible and you know, it won't be any kind of crazy lore. It'll really just be a match the hatch type deal. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, this is gonna be a pretty quick video. There's only a few steps to this lore, but they're pretty freaking effective if you have shad in your area. Okay, so now we have the loofah on pretty tight. Um, I see that there's a pretty good rip in the loofah now, so I'm gonna have to go get some more scaling material here soon. Um, but for today's video, this is all we got. So, have the loofah on. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some pearl blue, also from Createx, and on an angle, I'm gonna shoot um, just from about right below the lateral line and then up onto the back. Not too much, We're, we don't wanna go too heavy either. We just wanna give a, a nice little blue hue to the uh, sides of this bait. Set that. Now we're gonna take this masking off. I definitely oversprayed this side a little bit. I was really kind of looking for, um, you know, something more like this. I didn't want it to be too, too heavy. Um, but we'll try to, you know, even that out as we go along with the rest of this paint. The next thing we're going to shoot is some pearl gold. And so I'm using a lot of pearl colors. Um, I just like how that looks, especially for like shad baits. I feel like it's a, it's a nice like refraction. It's, it just has a good look to it, especially once the clear coat goes on. Okay, so we're going to take this gold and then we're going to put it all on the top and then down into those sides a little bit. Um, and maybe kind of back up and, and uh, spray some around, along the sides. I also usually like hitting the gold up on the gill plates of these shad. I just think it has a, a nice natural look to it. We're going to heat set this and then do another coat with this. Pearl gold, I usually like going on pretty light and then doing a few coats of it. So the last piece that I'm gonna do, which really usually brings some realism into these baits, is I'm gonna use some 
uh, Wicked Sepia. So this is also by Createx. It's their Wicked Colors line. Um, this is like a dark brown, but it's really cool. It makes these baits really come alive. Um, I'm going to definitely get the back and the spine with this. It, it just has a really natural look. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to back up and then kind of just spray the whole bait. It kind of just has a really cool color to it that's very natural looking. And for some reason, baits usually really just liven up once once you get a few um, light mists um, over it. So I'll uh, show you what I'm talking about. So that's the first coat. You can see it's kind of just giving a nice tint and hue to the whole bait. Um, we're gonna dry this and then just really, you know, darken up that top and uh, and do a little bit more with the sepia. So here we are at this stage. Next is we're gonna just put the shad dots on each side, just using a, a pre-made stencil that I use for these kind of applications. So we're gonna just pick a point at which we wanna shoot. And then there we go. We got the shad dot on both sides. And then last but not least, we just put the eyes on and clear coat. One extra thing I'm gonna do to this clear coat is after I've already done the clear coat over the whole bait, I have a little bit left and I'm gonna put a little bit of gold glitter into that clear coat and then just brush it on the top. It should give it just a little bit of a, a spark and a flash. Make sure not to go too heavy though because a little bit of glitter goes a really long way when it comes to this kind of stuff. And there you can see the little glitter flex on the top and that should just hopefully have a little bit of light refraction um you know just anything to make it a little bit cooler so with that it's a finished bait i appreciate you guys for watching if you have any questions or comments put them down below please give me some more suggestions for baits that you would want to see painted i'm kind of running out of ideas myself so any uh recommendations would be greatly appreciated and uh, it'll most likely be a giveaway as well. So let me know what you wanna see next. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. If you like this bait or this video, please hit that like button and subscribe for more action every week. And until next time, everyone, tight lines.